Good day, crafty chums, and we are just going to follow on with the AT, um, Shaker 80 card ATC that we started earlier on. And um, so, what we need is two bits of uh, card, two and a half by three and a half, a piece of uh, card that we're going to cut a scallop circle from. And the one I'm using here is a two inch scallop, so let's get on and cut that. We're just going to cut a scallop circle. Then what we're going to do next is find the halfway point. If you'd watch the other video, you need you know what you need um, to continue on here, and uh, that would be tapes. You know the foam tape, double sided tape, a sharp. Going to need a sharp knife a pencil, uh, some plastic film and your little shaky bits to go inside the card because it's a shaker card. So what we're doing here is we're going to cut in between two scallops to the middle and we're going to go one scallop, two scallop and make a cut into the middle again like so. Um, with what's left here of the um, scallop, we're just going to fold every scallop and just go backwards and forwards, fold in the scallops. Backwards and forwards. Valleys and mountains backwards and forwards from in between each scallop to the centre of the circle. That's what you're going to do, just crease it all up. Because what's going to happen is just crease, making crease, 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 crease. Then we're going to go. And over. And what this is going to look like then is this is going to be a little bodice. This is going to be a little skirt that will go on like that. Little 3D skirt, little bodice, and it's going to be like that. So what we need to do next is we need to hmm, scribness. We need to take the bodice and cut. We're going to make our little window or our little aperture. So we're going to place it on where we think we want the skirt, to, the um, dress to go, because this is a little dress form. And we're going to make a cut. Okay, so that's our little bodice there, and we're going to cut it just a little bit short, like so. And we're going to take our knife, and on a cutting surface, this is a little self healing mat I've got here, we're going to cut round the shape that we've just drawn around there. Just like so. What I'm going to do next is I'm just going to outline um, around the uh, around the little bodice shape, and I'm just going to go with my um, just to take away the white edge. I don't really want the white edge there, so uh, 
I was going to do the grey side, the pink side, but uh, I'm quite liking the grey side, so I might go with the um, the grey. Looks quite nice there, and uh, might go with the grey and with a. I've cut out several of, of these scallop shapes there. I might actually go with because I wasn't sh quite sure what colour I was going to end up with. Um, so I'm thinking I'm going to do the pink looks quite nice too so just quickly change my mind on the colour scheme which you can do <laughs> up to you I quite, quite like pink and grey anyway so yeah so we'll do use it I'm going to use that side up I think okay so now I'm just going to pop down some double sided tape around the little window We're going to get the um, pocket letters that I'm cutting up for these little shaker cards and that. I'm just going to cut a little piece to go over there. Like so. I'm going to pop my knife away so I don't cut myself on it. <laughs> just pop the little bit of plastic over there like that and it's going to look like that next comes the foam tape fun <laughs> foam tape fun <laughs> foam tape fun and this is lots of fun I'll just pop this on because uh, thicker than I wanted it for this. Um, we're going to go around the the little body shape there and make a little capture area for the shakers to go in. The little shake, the little bits that go inside. I don't know what they're called. Little shaky bits. <laughs> And again, making sure that it's a little closed area so that the little bits you're shaking in there can't escape. And then we're just going to fill up the rest of the space with foam tape. I used all my spare stuff yesterday, so... <laughs> I'm going to use those colours so I'll just choose some more colours and I'll be